Hi, I want to provide an update today on the red meat supply chain. Lots has been going on from uh, the demand shift at the outset of the crisis from food service towards retail or currently with the disruptions and slaughter capacity that is having quite a bit of an impact all the way up to the farm level. So lots has been going on. Let's look at some of the numbers and what they're telling us. This is a table summarizing weekly slaughters in both Canada and the United States. You got to look at both sides of the border. Obviously, this is an integrated market. And what the numbers are telling us, even though we don't have in this table the numbers for the week ending April 25th, we know that those numbers in 2020 are much lower than what they were in 2019. Uh, starting in April, you've seen a, a significant decline in weekly slaughters in the United States comparing 2020 to 2019 a year ago. And the same kind of story in Canada as well, starting in April or mid-April, roughly, uh, comparing 2020 to what the previous year was as well. So there's been quite a bit of a significant change and in the capacity of packing plants. And one of the things that I believe is interesting to note as well is the year-to-date pace is which, at which we got into this crisis, right? So if you look at the numbers by the end of March and comparing 2020 in Canada where uh, compared to 2019, we had 2.2 more slaughters, 2.2 percent more slaughters for cattle in 2020 than in 2019 at uh, at same date. And hence, you know, packing plants were going ahead it pretty hard at the beginning of the year, and then they had to slow down. Whether it was going from two shifts to one shift, shutting down entirely, or or maybe just reviewing some of the processes that they have within their plants, the result was a significant slowdown in the pace of slaughters across the board, whether it's cattle, hogs, Canada, US, uh, and you see this number here for cattle declining from 2.2% to actually being under right now where we were last year. So this has had quite a bit of an impact as well on the number of animals that are waiting to get to be processed in these, in these plants and obviously having an impact on the farm price. You look at the patterns in, in farm prices for fed cattle or hogs, uh, it's pretty clear. You know, I'm using futures markets over here. It's obviously, cash prices are a little bit different in, in some to some extent. You know, cash prices are going to be even worse or showing a little bit of a worse picture than what you have up on the screen. Um, but but the message is the same, right? We got some significant losses in cattle as well as hog as well as hogs. Um, uh, cattle. Prices have been trending down, hogs have been trending down as well, a little bit of a rebound lately. But the fact is that there's a larger and larger spread between what the cutoff values are, especially on the beef side, compared to what the farm level price is, and as well also on the US, um, in the US pork market, where we see the value of the cutout being, um, it's been up and down a little bit, but you now recently we've seen it move up as well. And this uh, supply of animals um, not finding a home in packing plants is creating all sorts of issues in terms of profitability. So, so we expect losses in April, obviously, uh, and perhaps until you know into May, as you know the supply chain is trying to fix those um, those delays and 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 the pace at which we can process animals. So this is definitely an area to monitor going forward because it does affect the profitability of farm operations um, going forward. For more information, you can go to our website at fcc.ca slash knowledge.